Hello, 欢迎 Hello, and welcome. Today is lesson eleven. Before we introduce to you guys some daily useful verb and verb phrases, as well as our short sentences, and today we will be focusing on verb and verb phrases together with their grammar points. So, for verbs and verb phrases, we need to review a bit. 抬虚，抬虚。In Cantonese, when you see two characters together, sometimes they can be split. For example, in this short phrase, the first character is to look or to read, and the second character is the book. Verb and verb phrases are not equal. Verbs are actions themselves, but verb phrases usually. It is a verb carrying a noun, and the noun is affected by the verb. 敬身，敬身。This can be split as well. The first character means to work out, and the second character is the body. 瞓觉，瞓觉，瞓。Already means sleep, the action itself. But as I said, contemporary Chinese languages, including Cantonese, we tend to use two characters for a certain vocabulary. So the second character, gao, is the noun. The first grammar point, we will be learning how to say doing in Cantonese. Here is the structure. Between the action and the noun, we use gan this character to connect these two. Pei yu, for example, we have sek fan, means to eat meal. First and second character means eat and meal separately. So, if we want to say, I am eating meal. We use gan in between. Sek gan fan, sek gan fan. The second version is to use hai dou before the verb or the verb phrases. But this structure is less frequently used compared to using gan, which is the structure we learned just now. For example, if we want to ask, 你喺度做咩？你喺度做咩 ？What are you doing? To answer that, if we use this structure, 我喺度温书。我喺度温书。I'm reviewing books. But gan, as I said, it is more frequently used. So you need to distinguish. Whether these characters are action itself or an action with a noun. If it has a noun, then gan is put in between. But if it has action itself, then just use gan after the action. Again, I used pink to mark the verb, and I used blue to mark the noun. And now we have a table. So please follow the table and.、Uh, Try to listen to the audio and repeat. Then pay attention with the structure. 休息紧，休息紧，做紧嘢，做紧嘢，做紧瑜伽，做紧瑜伽，健紧身，健紧身。去緊按摩，去緊按摩，去緊野餐，去緊野餐，去緊露營，去緊露營，打緊保齡球，打緊保齡球。
打數緊，打數緊，揸緊車，揸緊車，沖緊涼，沖緊涼，游緊水，游緊水，睇緊書，睇緊書，行緊山。行緊山，瞓緊覺，瞓緊覺，買緊嘢，買緊嘢，開緊 party， 開緊 party， 釣緊魚，釣緊魚，跳緊舞，跳緊舞。飲緊酒，飲緊酒，坐緊車，坐緊車，等緊車，等緊車，上緊堂，上緊堂，翻緊工，翻緊工。Apart from the table, I also have some phrases that you might need to learn and pay attention to. First one is 出去，出去 and、uh, the second character is 玩，玩出去 is to exit or to go out. 玩 is hang out or play. When people say I'm hang out, we would say. 出去玩緊，出去玩緊。Though we have three characters before 緊 ，the doing signature. However, 出去 and 玩 ，both of them are verbs, not verb phrases, because they didn't carry any nouns. So, no matter how many verbs you have, as long as you don't have any nouns after them, then. Just use gan directly after the verb. Second is 整理，整理 is to organize, sort or to clean. 文件，文件 documents. Sometimes verb and nouns might have more than one character, so be careful with them. Split them, then use the structure. If you want to say. Sorting documents, 你可以講 you can say, 整理簡文件，整理簡文件 The last one is a bit different. 見 the first character is to meet. 下午 second and the third character means clients or customers. 見緊下午，見緊下午。Meeting the customers. 好，今日就到呢度。That's it for today. Today we don't have too many sentences for you to practice, but as I said, the most important thing is to first distinguish whether a vocabulary is action, the verb itself, or a verb with a noun, and pay attention with the gan doing structure. And that's it. Done that very easy. 好，咁我哋下次見 ，see you next time。